applied directly to your face. It's literally still Jalen Hurts season. I had to record one wheel a month before the first round of the playoffs. So technically, technically, I think Tom Brady, not technically, he probably did. I think Tom Brady clapped Jalen Hurts' cheeks. And I think Jalen Hurts most likely is out of the playoffs. But the Eagles are still in that shit. Hold, oh my God. Oh my God. If the Eagles beat the Buccaneers, I literally won't know what to say. But yeah, I had the poster that I was gonna put up back there and I literally don't know where I put it. I can't find it. How I do that, I don't know. I think I'm getting early onset, Alz what's it called? Alzheimer's dementia? What's the one where you, where you forget stuff? Wait, do I have it already? Do I already know what it is, but I'm but I'm forgetting? Either way, you get one more episode with Jalen Hurts until my dementia wears off and I can find where that other poster is. Whatever, boys! Welcome back to another episode of Wheel of Mutt. This is officially the first episode of the playoffs. It felt like it just came up so quick. We just grinded our asses right into the playoffs and it works perfectly. I'm about to have my wild card playoff game after the NFL's wild card playoff game just commenced. It's perfect timing. I'm excited. And then you guys will see, well, assuming I win, you'll see my divisional in like two days. So hopefully we don't go out sad here. That would that would be depressing. Team is looking a lot better. This is our playoff squad right now. It's weird. We've been mentioning that it's weird, but it's honestly really good. This Ted Hendricks is a demon. Isaiah Simmons is an absolute stutter. Rackpo and Luke Keekley just joined the squad, but they played amazing last game. Devin White coughed up a fumble, just like he always does. Jalen Ramsey, Rashad Fenton, Melvin Inger, everybody else is doing their job. We're getting it done. Offensively, I need a backup tight end. Kadarius Tony hasn't done much. I mean, what do you expect? It's a Giants wide receiver. They don't really know how to get in the end zone or do anything. Left tackle, right tackle, all would be big upgrades. And dude, can I do something with Devontae Adams, please? Can I like get the guy a touchdown? So much harder than I thought it would be to get him a touchdown. All these games have been so weird. Like there's been episodes that are like eight or nine minutes a wheel of mine. That's never supposed to happen. It's a grab bag of like, I'm playing weirdos for whatever reason. And also I'm bad. Let's just give him a three tutty game right now on the wild card for shits and gigs. Our first will spin. In our first playoff game, the wild card. Let's see what the boys can do here. Our wheel spin is going to be a, is it a veteran's bag? No. It depends on what promo this is. We get any single player from Zero Chill. Please, please, please. No, slow die, dude. Oh. This one is deceptive. It did it to me last time. Okay, hear me out. There's a 95 overall Kyle Pitts. He's incredible. In fact, he's probably better than Darren Waller, but I'm not, <laughs> this sounds so beta, but I'm not mentally at a point where I'm giving up on Darren Waller. Darren Waller has been such a god. That limited literally came out the first week of Madden. And he has continued with no upgrades to be an absolute demon. I'm not ready to get away from him. Instead, there's a Jonu Smith, 91 overall. He will be an excellent backup to Darren Waller. 91 speed, 81 strength, a solid tight end. I get that Kyle Pitts is an upgrade, dude, but I'm not doing that right now. It's too important of a position for me to change it. I'm I'm bought in. Jonu Smith, you can be the backup. I wanted a backup tight end, and I got it. Hope you guys can understand. Darren Waller's carried me through so many games. I, I gotta keep him. I hope you guys can understand. He's carried me through so many things. Hopefully this next wheel spin isn't as cataclysmic of a decision. It's a core elite jackpot. That's honestly super dog shit, but it's going to be a massive left guard upgrade. And actually, now that I look at it, this is actually a really good spin. There is pack a punch on the rage quit wheel and there is pack a punch on the main wheel. Quentin Nelson has a 95 overall limited left guard card. So I'm going to get the 87 Quentin Nelson here. It's so weird to be getting that this late and wheel him up, but I got to play. I got to play what the wheel spin says. And it is upgrade. It's a lot better than 81 Ram chick out of position. So Quentin Nelson, 87 Quentin. Quentin Nelson, this would definitely be my pack a punch. If I got a pack a punch, I would absolutely do Quentin Nelson before I did Bruce Smith or Luke Keekley because a 95 left guard sounds really nice. On to the challenge wheel. And as you guys know in the playoffs, if I complete this, I can take any pack in the store, not just a coin pack. So this is extra important right now. It's, oh my God, this is a fucking Madden 20 challenge. You know, I was running it pretty efficiently last game. I really was, 75 yards with RPO peak zone bubble. This is passing and rushing included. Next playoff game is the wild card. We're seven and two. We made it, baby. Let's clutch up one more time. And let's get this W, dude. How did the playoffs play out, by the way? Because you guys are seeing this after the wild card played out, but I haven't seen the wild card yet because I'm recording this before. I'm going to make my predictions right now on camera so you guys can see. He's got Isaiah Simmons, Keyshawn Johnson, DeAndre Hopkins. It's not a God squad. It's a great team, but not a God squad. That makes me happy. Here's my predictions, all right? So Eagles, Buccaneers. I'm so sorry, Jalen Hurts, but Buccaneers are going to win that one. Cowboys, 49ers. I got the Cowgirls. Steelers, Chiefs. I got the Chiefs. Patriots, Bills. I got the Bills. Raiders, Bengals. I got the Bengals. And Cardinals, Rams. I've got the Rams. How are my predictions, boys? Let me know. He's got Boomer at quarterback. Oh boy. Let's go, boys. 
Starting out with a run, a left side run to Adrian Peterson. And whoa, he had a hell of a lot more room than I thought he did. I thought we were going to contain that. I respect seeing a run game. This is the fucking playoffs, dude. I'm sweating. Can't tell if he's two o'clock or just slow play caller. That zig is kind of open. I got this route clamped, though. He can throw halfback still. I kind of think this is a run on third and one. Yup. Yup. Get there. Let's go. Oh, is he about to run it again? I'm going on Keekly. No, he doesn't. He's passing. He's not there. I'm on that shit. Oh, my God. He throws to my fucking dome. And Keekly is going to take it to the one. Ah! What a fucking lurk. He no huddled it. Fourth and one and threw right at my face. All right, we're stretching this to the outside. We've got some new linemen over there and fight. Oh my fucking God, are you kidding me? That was literally free as fuck. I'm doing the exact same thing. No way. What the fuck? How is this happening? Dude, if we don't put this in, I'm gonna be so pissed. Especially because Keekley was so close. I said I wanted to get Devonta Adams three, right? Oh, he's there. He's no. fucking there. No, he dropped it. Dude, that was wide open. I'm taking the field goal. Free possession, ball half. That's really nice. Momentum two. I just sold from the one. I don't think he's going to run the ball as much anymore. Play action. Very not an open. I think this is the literal exact same play. Unless he's running it now. Yep. Yep, but we're all over that. Brian Arakpo is going to get around it. He likes the, oh, are you there? What a spin. Great play by him. Keekly gets a big hit out of it, but that was sweaty. He wants Odell over the middle. It is unbelievably not open. So close, second and 10. I'm blitzing. He's got so much time back there, dude. I'm sick of it. Okay, good. Good stop though. No, what are we doing? Oh, I can't get to this. <sighs> Throws a laser. Okay, intentional grounding, big. I'm gonna go on Devin White here. Check down is definitely there. He loves his check downs, I'm not making that tackle. Oh no, I just blitzed Ramsey, fuck, I have to use him now. Oh, let's go, we got to him, fourth and 13. A field goal for a field goal, I like that. I'm not gonna give up on the run just because we struggled on the goal line. That is a great run right there. Jonathan Taylor. I think I just got mad unlucky when we were on the goal line last time. Like crazy unlucky. Not entirely sure what I want here. Oh, Waller. Waller! No! No! That is literal, like direct to my face karma for not getting Kyle Pitts. Volleyball is just unlucky right there. This is going to be a run play. Oh. Dude, he's got a nasty playbook. Ryan! What the fuck? I stood there the whole time. I knew exactly where he was throwing, and I was holding Y. How did I not get that? That's horrible. I don't get how I didn't get that. And he throws a laser to Randy Moss. Touchdown. How the fuck did I not get that pick? Well, now the best case scenario is we get seven here. Okay, Plumber. I really don't know if Jonathan Taylor is open here. Let me go double team on the left side. Hopefully they uh, lock that up. Okay. Bomb. Absolute bomb! Stupid. Do what? 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 What do you mean? This is the fucking playoffs. We can't be doing that. What the fuck just happened? He wasn't even touched by anybody. I don't know if... I don't know if he felt bad. Oh, I didn't even get in the end zone. I'm stuck back at this spot. Fuck you, Canaries Tony. Fuck you, Jake Plummer. Fuck you, DK Metcalf, bro. What is this? I've never seen that shit, bro. Plumber. Plumber is built fucking different. I, I don't have the emotion to be screaming right now. Too much shit's going on. Inside zone looks money right now. Just gotta make a good read here. Yes, cut that back to where he left. I will definitely take six yards. Maybe I could have ran that a little better. Six yards on a run is, is a beautiful thing in Madden. Is this really the time to run peak zone bubble? I have to get the 75 yards with it. We haven't even ran it yet. I don't think this is the time. Uh, we're going to get weird here. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh my God, they gave him that? He's in bounds? I was literally just trying to throw it away. I thought that was for sure out of bounds. <laughs> 
Oh, I did not think he'd still throw that. Boys, my uh, my camera just died. I'm gonna have to go cameraless, and I'll turn it right back on if we get into the red zone. This is gonna be really weird. I apologize. This is a massive one. Okay. They're not shit open. Good stop! That's a fourth and one! Does he take the field goal? I need the camera for this. He's going for this shit! Looks like the run. Oh my god, it's the run! Let's see what he goes with. He's definitely he's definitely taking an end zone shot here. Oh, did he catch that? Holy fuck, he's on the one. He's gonna get it. His his run game is killing my D-line right now. I think it's just gonna be a dive. Oh. Hendrix. Hendrix, you fucking savage! What a play! I switched up like a bitch. I had to right there. I had to. You think I was gonna make that tackle? I'm not built like that. I'm built the same. I'm not built different. Same thing. Right up the middle. Good stop! Come on! Third and goal! Playoffs! Sean Taylor, let's find it. It's, I think it's a stretch. I don't think this is up the middle. Oh, play action. Oh, the middle. I wish he had thrown that. That's a hit. I wish he had thrown that. Fourth and goal from the two. Are you built the same or are you built different? Come on, baby. Back right, back right, back right. What's going on? Where's the fucking... I'm in a cover two. There should be a blue and a light blue over there. What was that? Look at that. What a travesty. We really held that the whole way. And I have no idea where my whole defense went. But they just vacated the back of the end zone. Three-man rush, maybe? Or is that fourth going to come off that right side? Oh, it's a three-man. Plummer. Plummer. He's too worried about all the routes downfield. And Plummer, four rushes, 34 yards, and a rushing touchdown. Great blocks. What the fuck is that? Third and three. I'm doing the same thing. Dude, this is so free. Look at how free this should be. Yes, sir. That's what it should have looked like. Ooh! <laughs> I dusted the computer without a juke. Question is if I would go for two. A, a part of me wants to pull a Harbaugh and the Ravens and actually go for two here. A part of me wants to do it. Easy throw down to Jonathan Taylor. We're going to step out of bounds after seven. Second and three. Darren Waller is fucking open. I can't shoot clock at this point. I'm on the five. I have to score. I have to score and stop him. I think it's our best move here. First and goal. And you know who's been just fucking killing it? Is this guy. Right fucking here! Plumber! Times two! God, he's a beast! He's thrown sketchy balls. He has been in positions where he throws a bad pass when he gets frustrated, and they are interceptable. We both have three timeouts. 17 to 17, minute 47, three timeouts for each squad, and the Jets have the ball in the wild card playoff. Only in Madden will you ever hear that sentence. That halfback is so fucking open. It's unbelievable. Do I let him score? I think I do. I thought he was gonna not score. I don't know what play that was or how it was so open. This guy knows more than I do. Well played, sick moves. Now I need to score a touchdown and go for two. Like it's, it is glaringly obvious that he is better than me at Madden, but I have an opportunity. And if I get down there, I'm going for two. I don't know if I've ever been in this position. I don't know if I have ever had to score a touchdown, go for two and gotten it. Interesting. That was actually really sketchy because I could have fumbled. I really shouldn't have done that. But I don't want the touchdown right there. But he would have done the same shit. He would have gone down and fucking scored on me in like two seconds. We have to score in no time. First and 15. Oh no. No camera. <sighs> Second and 15. Darren Wallers. Oh, he's not there. But you are. Kadarius Tony. Massive catch. Is my camera fucking dead? An absolutely massive conversion. What is this? What the fuck was that? The what the fuck was that? He just did a jump pass? That was not what was supposed to happen there. He just did a fucking Aaron Rodgers jump pass. That was supposed to be a bullet. Hell of a game. I'm gonna run that back though. I wanna see if anything else is open. That was such a painful game to play. The whole time, I just knew. I really did. I just knew the whole time I was gonna get fucked. Ever since DK Metcalf dropped that pass, I knew it was over. This is what happens when you end Jalen Hurts' season. Oh, look at Jalen Ramsey's hair. Wait, look at that. Wait, look at that. So this is the final play. Let's see if anything was open. Oh, look at X. Look at X. Right off the rip. Rifle it to him. Touchdown. Wow, he did the same thing. It's like he was trying to let me score 
and I sold. I literally didn't see it at all. I mean, you you can't really, I can't really be mad about it because I have wide open dudes on the left and right. Well, not on the left so much, but on the right here, Devontae Adams is open. But what the fuck was that? And, the, and since he did that, he fucking wobbles this bitch to where there's no way Metcalf was gonna get that. Kind of excited to reset this team, but I'm sad I never got the, like, I never got the clutch up with Devontae Adams. I guess I can give you a Super Bowl at the same time as the actual Super Bowl. So, in the next episode, you'll only see DK Metcalf, Darren Waller, Sean Taylor, Devin White, Isaiah Simmons, and I don't get a prestige. No prestiges for Papa Meeks. The reason I don't get a prestige, I didn't get to the Super Bowl. And I made it to the playoffs, the team resets tough, dude, tough. I don't even know if I'm gonna call that a heartbreaker, bro. I'm sitting here, I was sitting that whole game thinking, damn, I'm gonna lose, which is a horrible mentality but it just, it really felt like it. Well, I was not in love with Jake Plummer. He did have a nasty game. I was in love with Jonathan Taylor. I know you guys are gonna be frustrated and you're all gonna re in the comments about who I should have thrown to, but listen, you can't win them all. I still love you. I'm gonna clutch you guys up. A Super Bowl for the real life Super Bowl. We'll come back stronger. We'll come back better than ever next season. I'll see you boys then. Peace.